Hello all. I have been getting lots of questions from the teaching fraternity regarding the use of technology in teaching and learning, especially during this COVID lockdown period. One among such a question is that, so can we take attendance in the Google Classroom? You know, the teachers are compelled to use any learning management system these days when the schools are not open due to the COVID lockdown even uh, learning is being facilitated by the teachers right so most of the teachers are preferring Google Classroom as the learning management system or virtual classroom and when they conduct uh, when they provide learning experiences through Google Classroom they are having a need for taking the attendances of their students in Google Classroom so they ask me whether a provision for taking the attendance is there or not at an outset I'm having the answer that there's no provision for taking the attendance in the Google Classroom Please understand that Google Classroom is not a platform for taking the real-time classroom mode in a synchronous mode. Whereas Google Classroom is a platform where the learning can be facilitated uh, by the teachers even outside the classroom. So it can be better used in a blended learning setup where the real classroom class sessions will be there and after that as a supplement further learning experiences uh, can be provided through Google Classroom. But still during this period teachers are curious to know whether the attendances of the, their students can be taken on Google Classroom or not. When they ask me I should give them a provision. I should find a way to mark their attendances even uh, if that is not the true way right so in this video we'll be discussing about the provision of attendance taking in the Google classroom please watch this thank you Now uh, we shall be seeing how to take the attendances in the Google Classroom. So we will just open a Google Classroom. So I'll be uh, I'm logging into my Google Classroom. I hope you are seeing that. And I have uh, entered classroom.google.com. I have reached here in my Google Classroom where lots of classrooms are already there. And uh, I'll be clicking B year 2019 to 21 classroom. Okay, B year 2019 to 21 classroom. I'm just entering. Uh, so this is our classroom. Okay, here uh, we are having people, uh, including our core teachers and uh, as many, almost all our students are joined here. And here we need uh, to have a provision for attendance taking. Actually, uh, nowadays the classrooms. Uh, all the active almost all the activities uh, of teaching and learning are being facilitated through here when uh, we are away teachers and uh, students are away from each other uh, due to this covid lockdown so along with the uh, uh, face to face uh, the thing uh, the interactive lessons through the video uh, platform video conferencing platforms we also provide experiences through google classroom and uh, uh, more or less Google Classroom's um, role is uh, more in uh, this time. So here, uh, to uh, as I have already mentioned, the, the there is no provision for creating or uh, taking the attendance here. And actually, uh, here there is no need for taking the attendance in reality. But still, uh, since we are in a situation where uh, we have to record the attendances, uh, whether they are coming at least uh, opening uh, the uh, Google Classroom and seeing our resources at least uh, that is has to that is uh, what we need to be we need to record it okay so uh, to start uh, how to make an attendance system here you click create and you can ask a question you go to question okay I'll ask a question and here I can ask the question uh, the question the word the title given to the question can be uh, made attendances okay 
attendance or i shall make it 6th june 2020 attendance okay and here i shall ask a question multiple choice question i can choose and here i can have an option yes yes i'm present here okay there is no need of give, there is no need of giving uh, absent um, an option for absent because if uh, the student is there here he doesn't need to put absent mark right so this will be given and here what shall i do i'll go to unmarked and uh, if that is available for all the students in the classroom we'll just check only the classroom and it will be applicable for all the classroom and here due time due date and time can be fixed so here it is i'm just making a system for uh, recording the attendance on 6th june 2020 so here i'll make 6th june 2020 and i can make a uh, time also so there uh, what i believe is uh, there is no sense uh, in asking in setting the time but still if uh, your system require uh, demands you to your students to come at least uh, uh, come before uh, during a particular time you can set uh, the time okay due time so here i shall make 12 pm so by this i'm uh, uh, i'm aiming at recording the attendances uh, before 12 pm every day so my students need to come here and uh, if they are uh, logging here logging and uh, marking there yes i am present here before 12 pm on 6th june they will be getting the attendance and if they come late they will not be get, uh, given any attendance and here i shall make a, a topic create a topic uh, named attendances or i'll make daily attendance okay like that so that uh, this uh, question will be going uh, under the category daily attendance okay and I, i'll just uncheck this and i'll just uh, schedule this so the day uh, today is a fifth so tomorrow i have to schedule to tomorrow so tomorrow i'll be i'm supposed to uh, post some learning materials here so i'll make uh, this attendance also scheduled for tomorrow uh, by 8 or 8 30. so between 8 30 and 12 uh, pm they can come and enter the at, uh, attendance okay like this i'm setting now i'll just schedule it i i think i have already scheduled for tomorrow at 8 a.m now i'll just schedule it it's done the procedure now uh, the uh, same thing i will repeat here uh, 6th june 2020 attendance is there now i shall make okay 6th june is there no so what shall i do i'll just make another question again or i can reuse the post also so i'll make here 7th june 2020 okay i'll make it again this uh, this post i'll schedule for 7th june 2020 12 uh, 5 pm okay so it's done again i'll take this into the category daily attendance and i'll schedule it for 7th so that only this post will be visible only uh, by 7th june 2020 at 8 am so i'll schedule it so this way you can schedule for 8 uh, 9th 10th etc okay now i shall make if i uh, wish to make uh, for 8th 9th 10th etc i can schedule this way okay so that this will be a uh, system for marking their attendances okay now we shall see how students will come and uh, see the attendance so since uh, today is the fifth only what shall i do i'll make one more for fifth okay so i'll ask a question for today 5th june 2020 attendance now here uh, i'll go and make a multiple choice question yes i'm present so this uh, actually i'll uh, schedule due date only i'll just mark 
so now uh, my clock time is 5:25 pm so i'll make it uh, to uh, 5th june 5:40 pm and i'll take this into the topic daily attendance and i'll uh, post it now Now we shall open uh, the classroom as a student and uh, we'll try to mark that attendance. See here on fifth, uh, a student is trying to open the Google Classroom and he can come here and this is the classroom uh, to which he joins. Uh, he comes for learning and uh, by the time uh, there would be uh, some learning materials or some learning experiences provided by the teachers and here on fifth you can see only fifth attendance uh, is enabled here so only sixth seventh are scheduled for that those dates so only on that day it will be available so fifth uh, the student will check here on fifth and click on yes I am present and he will hand in and submit it so when the student submit it here we can see it now anytime when the teacher requests to check the attendance on fifth you can come here you can see uh, seven people have already handed in and uh, you can uh, they, uh, the teacher can check whether the students are how many uh, are there or not so here you can see these are the students are uh, mark their attendance so this way it will be highly beneficial for the teachers and the on uh, next day the next day's attendance uh, will be enabled posted on 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 the classroom so that uh, students can mark their attendance i hope you have enjoyed this session and this is how we can make use of the google classroom effectively for facilitating uh, our students thank you very much